Uh, it was fun, you know. Uh, obviously, we were glad to get it back. Uh, a lot of people on this team, you know, it was the first experience of the city game, and I thought, you know, they stepped up and played really well, even when, you know, they made a couple of runs. So I thought it was, I thought it was pretty, it was exciting. Uh, I would say we definitely knew it was going to be a dogfight. Um, just talking to Rye, Millie, um, some of the coaches, um, just knowing the tradition of the whole thing and knowing that, just knowing how big this, this whole game was that we had to move it to PPG just to play. So I kind of knew what the atmosphere was going to be like coming in, and I knew that it was going to be huge, and I knew that um, we've kind of been dominating it for a while, and we kind of lost it last year. So I wanted to bring it back home, especially for Ryan Millie, their senior years, and get, uh, get it right on track for us. Uh, I thought it was pretty special, you know, like you said, my last one, my senior year, so it's good to go out on top. But, uh, you know, I'm just happy, just uh, happy for our guys, proud of them, you know, the way they played and uh, stepped up. A lot of young guys making, you know, plays beyond their years and um, just happy and, you know, enjoy, enjoy this win for the night. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, being a senior and, you know, I'm trying to, you know, give energy to those young guys, but really just, you know, I feel like sometimes I, you know, can play with a little bit more, you know, talk a little bit more emotion, you know, and get things going and get more energy. But, uh, you know, really just playing, having fun out there. Um, well, honestly, in practice, I just, I think I've been defending really well. That's a key thing. You know, our coaches, you know, talk about all the time is our defense. And I think I've, in the past couple couple of days, I've done a really good job defending in practice. So that might be it. But I mean, I mean, we can, we can play anybody, so it doesn't really make a difference. So. Marcus, you know, there are a few guards. Um, well, we knew that um, they had the bulk of their scoring coming in, um, just based on what guys were averaging and, and from the film. And um, our coaches do a great job before every game preparing us with film, um, scouting reports, letting us know what certain guys do, um, where on the court. And today, especially today, we just took advantage of that and really just executed. I'd say um, we're, we're actually very comfortable in terms of like being in the offense now and like before we had to figure some things out early on but I think we figured it out now and we know like what to expect and how to approach games and stuff so I think I think as a freshman we're all pretty comfortable. I would say mostly the biggest thing I would say is the speed. Um, just of, uh, for one, the actual players and just how the game develops. Um, certain things um, might be open, but in high school they would have been open for two seconds, and over here they're open for a split second. Or you think you have an open lane and help side closes quickly. So you kind of just have to adjust to the speed and athleticism. You know, everybody, we're playing in the ACC high level, so everybody has great athletes, um, great players on their team. Everybody kind of had a big role wherever they came from, and, and Everybody's talented, so I'd say uh, a lot of it's speed and athleticism. Uh, Ryan, they were able to cut it to two kind of there in the second half. You kind of narrowed it up to a little bit. What kind of conversations do you guys have about what you need to do to, to pull away and, and sell that? Uh, well, coming out in the second half, we wanted to you know have a good first four minute uh, media timeout, but uh, we didn't get it. We didn't get enough stops. Uh, I think I broke down on defense a couple of times, but um, really. Just, you know, after that first media timeout, like you said, when they cut it, um, 
just you know sit down and play defense. Uh, we know that um, whenever our defense is set and everyone's talking, doing their uh, responsibilities, then um, we get stops, and then our offense comes down. That comes after that, and everyone kind of settles down. So that's what we were telling ourselves. Um, I mean, it's obviously it has a little bit more importance than a normal, you know, non-conference uh, game. Um, you know, I think it's awesome for the city, you know, where people can, you know, you know schools are two mile or two apart and the whole city can kind of come, you know, for the basketball community and watch a game for the night. So I think that's pretty special and um, I think it's great that we do that. But um, it definitely has a little bit more importance than a little or um, just a normal non-conference game. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'll take a win however I can get it. Anything else? Um, no, I didn't have a different approach. Um, I just knew drilling myself in practice all week, um, coming into the game, um, just before the game, not trying to stress too much about it. Um, but knowing in the back of my head that I'm, I'm a point guard on this team, I kind of have to lead these guys even though I'm young and I have to set an example. So that really begins on defense and taking care of the ball. You seem pretty down on the thing that they put in Tuesday. Have you had some five turnovers against high point? I mean, as a freshman, you have to sort of take extra efforts. Have to beat yourself up too much over performances like that? Uh, no, um, I believe I'm my toughest critic. So. Um, if I, if I know I'm not playing well, then that's kind of something that I have to deal with myself. But I don't think I let it affect me going into like the next day or the next game or anything like that. I kind of just address it as it is and, and try and um, focus on the things I need to do to improve and bring that into the next day in practice and the next game.